Well, hello there, guys. Back again with another long overdue tutorial. This is something, uh, you know, you may have guessed from the title what this tutorial is actually about here. But uh, this is something I had to do recently for uh, an animation that I was working on. And I thought it might be cool to do a little bit of a tutorial about it. I'm sure most of you could probably figure out how to do this on your own. But for those of you who might want some inspiration or maybe just an example of a technique, this is for you. This one goes out right to you. Almost like Total Request Live. You requested it, except you didn't, and now I'm doing a tutorial on it. Why am I saying all that? I don't know, but let's get started. So, you may know when you play Minecraft, you do little tower jobs. Like if you want to get to the top of this here, you would just place blocks and jump, and get on top of them. Well, we're gonna show a couple ways that you might want to animate that. So uh, first thing we're gonna do, is just go ahead and spawn in a cobblestone, cause that's what everyone uses for that stuff. Let's bring it, bring it on over here. Uh, we're gonna leave our grid size on. You'll see there we got to the grid for the position turned on. We're gonna leave it at size 16 because that's the size of the blocks. And to make this easy, we're gonna do like so. We gotta grab it first though. Yeah, something like that. And you do like that, and then you do like that. Boom. There, lined up with Steve. All right. So technically. There's a couple of different ways you can do this uh, that I'm aware of, like the immediate ways that you might decide to try and do this. So the first way is uh, you can spawn in a bunch of these cobblestones. We're just gonna go down here and duplicate it. And then we can take this one and move it up. And we'll just go ahead and do like three of them. Do like so. So we've got a stack of three and then we can keyframe their visibility. So at first we'll make all of them invisible and then the first one will say you become visible right around here. Poop. Make that one invisible. Uh, visible, not invisible. Visible. And this one, maybe a second later. And then this one, another second later. So then what you get is like, you know, boop, boop, boop. Obviously that should be faster, but you get the idea. He's, uh, imagine him placing it and jumping on him. So you can do that, but then you're going to kind of have this timeline you know, filled up with these individual blocks. You can, of course, take them or highlight them, smack that little folder button, and then that's gonna put them all down into a folder so you can keep your timeline clean, but you're still gonna be animating all these individual blocks. And that's fine, because you may want to, let's say, uh, do a staircase one. Maybe he's gonna be putting it there, and then this one will be over here. Like, you know, he's building a staircase up. So for that instance, you may would wanna have it done this way. And there you go, like that's how you would do it. You just keep going and have Steve jumping up on him and you're good to go there. But generally, you know, a Minecraft character is gonna be going straight up. So let's just go ahead and get, you know, minimize that. And what we're gonna do is go over to the project tab. Let me actually bump these uh, little parameters up because I forgot to do that earlier. So I'm gonna do it live. Right now. All right, so here we go. This is our cobblestone block here in the library. So what I'm gonna do is duplicate this, put it there. As you can see, we have a zero use count. For those of you who watched all my tutorials on my main channel back in the day, you should know what all that means. If not, then uh, I don't know. Go look up my beginner's guide or something. I'm pretty sure I covered it. It just means it is not used down here. All right, this one's here. I got three of them. It means there's three use counts. I already explained it, so I guess you don't have to look up those old tutorials. Damn it. I need the views. So uh, what we're going to do is take this one. We're going to hit this button, spawn it in, puts it right there conveniently for us for some unknown reason. Let's go ahead and make those invisible. And we're going to plop this one in right there. It doesn't really matter where it is at the moment because we're going to be doing something to this one a little bit. So what we're going to do is come down here with this selected in the library. We're going to click on repeat. And we're gonna go to a Z for me because I have, let's go over here to this. Is it interface? Yes, Z is up, is ticked for me. So that means the Z axis, which will be up and down, is gonna be my up and down. If you don't have that, if that's off, then it'll be Y, the Y axis. So Z or Y for me, it gonna be Z. So let's say we need how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 to cover the entirety of the height of this. So we're just gonna say, repeat that 10 times. And there you go, I didn't really have to count it. I could have just went up and saw where it ended, but you know, 
We do what we do. Who, who's going to judge us? All right. So there you go. So you got that. And that's fine. And uh, that's all good and well. Uh, but let's just say uh, we want to animate this, obviously. So what we can do, and what I'm going to do to actually make this a little bit easier to animate, because um, what we're going to be doing is dragging this down like so, so we don't see it. But that means if I'm up here animating Steve, when I do this, I have to go all the way down here to, to grab this thing, and I don't want that to be the case. So I'm going to bring it back up real quick. And I'm just going to rotate this 180 degrees. It doesn't matter. It could be on the x-axis or the y. Don't make no difference. I'm just doing it on the y because that's what I chose. Don't ask me why. I chose the y-axis. That could be a song. Let's go ahead and save our progress. You'll notice I save frequently because, uh, you know, you might lose progress if you if you have a crash or something. So I make a habit of saving frequently. And I'll even copy my project folder and paste it into another directory on my computer and have multiple backups as I work on a project. Just, just kind of neither here nor there. It's a bit of a, bit of, bit of a, what's the word for it? It's a digression. Yeah, I digress. But uh, it's a helpful tip nonetheless. Let's go ahead and draw that down for no reason. So what we're gonna do is, uh, let's say Steve has animated to uh, to do this. Let's, let's go ahead and cover this real quick. You kind of probably get the idea of what I'm gonna be doing here. So while we're doing this, let's go ahead and animate Steve to do the little motion because this is gonna be a whole comprehensive tutorial. This is how you do the whole thing, all right? I'm, I'm talking way too much. This is just terrible. You guys are like, get on with the point already. And I'm like, eh, nah, I'm good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, make another one of these here. Let's make it visible. I'm going to highlight all these keyframes and delete them. All right, and we're gonna zero it out. We want it in the zero position. And I'm just gonna parent it to Steve's right arm. There we go. And we're gonna scale it down. Let's just say about 0.25. It's a reasonable size for something that'll be in their hands. It doesn't really work with the grid on, so I'm gonna turn that off. And usually I think they're kind of off center a little bit. I don't even know. Let's just make this like negative eight even, make this number one even, and number one even. So there we go. Steve's holding the block. Save it. And we'll leave it at that. So he's got his cobblestone and he's ready to build his little tower. So all we're going to do is just go ahead and, you know, he's looking down because he's going to be building a tower. Let's move him up so that he's standing. Oh, wait a minute. We got to get that grid on there. There we go. His head's kind of going into the wall. Don't worry about that. Nobody cares. So all we want to do basically for a basic Minecraft animation is we're just going to have his arm kind of do a little little wavy do thing. So we're gonna do a bit of a pose to pose animation. We're gonna set our initial keyframe with his arm down by his side. We're probably gonna be adjusting this timing, but we'll come up like this. I'm actually, you know, I, I kind of do care that his head's going into the wall and that he's so close to the wall. So what I'm gonna do is turn our grid to eight and back him off about half a block or wait a minute, maybe about four. Cause I want to be standing on the edge of the cobble. So we'll try that. And uh, now that he's in position, we'll bump that back up to 16 for the other things that we have to do there. And we'll get rid of that keyframe because it's stupid and I hate it. All right, so his arm's gonna come up and then back down. So this is what you get. And that looks terrible. So what I wanna do is, uh, this is pretty slow too, so I'm gonna bring these in like so. All right. And then on these halfway points here, I'm just going to bring the arm out. So let's just say like 16 degrees and then in 16 degrees. Now this can be refined, obviously. We're just, we're just doing this real quick, but do a little quick movement like that and it's fine. And of course, we can make it a little bit faster because typically in Minecraft, the animation for these things is pretty dang quick. There you go. See there? It's kind of like a little Minecraft motion. Whoop, I'm putting blocks down. So now what we do is uh, pretty simply, we're just gonna go up about half a second there and bring him up one block, right? Let's go ahead and crush this down. And when that happens, at about the same point, we're gonna 
bring up this into view and pop right under his feet. So what you get is this horrible looking animation here. And that's not what we want. So what we're gonna do for these keyframes for the cobblestone is make them instant, because that's kind of how blocks look in Minecraft. See there? Bada bing, bada boom. And uh, what we want to do though is kind of make Steve's uh, jump a little bit better. He needs to move faster. So what I might do is kind of have him go up a little bit higher. And of course we have this grid on, so I'm going to make that about two. Pop him up a bit. So what he's going to do is go up higher. So he goes up to 96. This is 94, so what we want is for this to go up to like maybe 100 or maybe not. Doop. So you don't have to do that little motion. If you want to do it just like Minecraft, you can just simply have it uh, go up straight to the, the height, you know? But if you wanted to make it like he's jumping and kind of coming down, you can do that. I'm just going to get rid of it. That's just a little bit of spice of life stuff right there. And we're going to drag these back. Because you want the cobblestone to appear around like where you would imagine his arm position would be when a block is to appear. So technically it would probably be right about there. So we're going to line it up with this keyframe for the arm movement. Because I think that kind of reminds me of the timing of Minecraft. Am I wrong? See there? Just like so. And then what we can also do is take Steve's keyframe. Let's make that an ease out sign. There we go. Now we're getting the look that we want, I think. All right, so there you go. Basically, you're going to do that. And what we're going to do is copy all these keyframes. Hit Control C, or you can come down here and hit this button right here. And then you can paste with that button right there. And we're just going to come up here, Control V, paste it. And you'll see that he's, he's kind of doing that whole thing, and we don't want that. So what we can do is use the relative keyframe values, which means if we use these here, then these keyframes will move within relative value to where they are now or something. I have a video on it. It's on my main channel again. Uh, this is kind of confusing, kind of referencing different channels, but you know what it is what it is. So we know that on this frame, when he's on top of the block, it's at 96 on the Z. So I'm just going to grab these. On this first one, he needs to be at 96. So we're going to do that. Bum, 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 96. And then you'll see, since those keyframe values will be relative, when he does the jump again, he'll be up another block. Because we moved this one to be 16, so that means this one went up 16 as well. Hopefully that makes sense. I don't know. Does it? And, uh, of course, I didn't really need to copy these down here. I could just uh, leave that blank. And we'll do the same thing on this line right here. That's where this needs to pop up. Boop. And I have this set for twos. I can uh, bump that back up to 16. All right. So this is what we get. Boop. Boop. Looking pretty good. Looking fine. So again, I just keep doing that. So I'll copy this. Copy. Paste. And then on this line right here, we'll bring the cobblestone up one more. Boop. Just like so. And then on Steve, we're going to go ahead and do like these and then bump it up just like that. Oh, nope, just like <laughs> this one. Here we go. So then with those relative keyframe values, doop, 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 he's just going up. Real simple, real simple like. And, you know, uh, the same principle applies if I wanted to, to keep going with this. I can go ahead and just copy all of these. Copy and then paste. And when I do this one, so let's just say this is at 128. So let's highlight all these keyframes or actually just these here right there. Bump them up to 128 and there you go. So we just keep doing this one that goes up one more. This one, it goes up one more. And then this one, it goes up one more. And uh, I kind of got the timing off on those. I think I, <laughs> Yeah, this, this, this one's supposed to be right there a little bit, I think. Am I right? Did I do it wrong? What'd I do wrong? <laughs> oh, I think I, okay, I, I know what I did. These go here instead. The, the stupid head keyframe here. 
That's what's throwing me off. Get out of here, head keyframe. I think that works. I think I corrected it. Fixed it. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at that. Steve's going up. You wouldn't know if you were looking at my animator or Minecraft, man. Perfect. So there you go. That's how you do, uh, you know, climbing up. And it looks like he's placing blocks, but it's just a big line of the cobblestone. And we're just bringing it up in increments and it looks like he's just placing new blocks to make a tower and that's the quickest and easiest way you only have to have one item in your timeline one item here without having to make a whole bunch of these cobblestone blocks stuff you can literally have one with the repeat option one item here instead of making all this big mess with all these and you animate it real quick and easy and you just copy paste those keyframes and then highlight these and update the value on where he's supposed to be standing as I showed hopefully that conveyed clearly enough and there you go there's your very long bloated tutorial to show a very simple method of how to do something in my animator that you probably already knew how to do hope you enjoyed it hope you had some fun thanks for watching hope you learned something as well like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you're new, and you somehow managed to learn something from this video. Yeah.